Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do quotes. There are two ways to do quotes for a client. You can do one on the main Top Uniforms website, and there's also an internal quote system. So if you're talking to a customer, the one on the website, you're both available to see. So they can go on to bseen.ca and see exactly what you're seeing. So to get to the website, just type in to bseen.ca. If you can't find it, you can always go to the internal link system and click here and it'll take you to the website so for now we'll just click on anything so click t-shirts ladies long sleeve tee and we'll click this one just for now so here you have all the prices and the options that they can see right away and then you're gonna click get a quote so let's just say, for example, a customer already knows the product number that they want. You could also search the product here. So look at this right there. It says 240L. And if you clicked enter, it would give you this exact page. So now you can pretty much go through these fields based on the customer's wants. So if they wanted a printed logo, you'd click printed. If they wanted embroidered, you click embroidered and the price would adjust accordingly. So click printed and then let's say they want three colors. Notice that the price automatically changes. So for this sake we'll just do printed one color and we'll choose screen print. Now they have the option to add a sleeve logo if they want. If you click printed it'll update the price because it's more expensive. If they want embroidered, click embroidered. Here you also have the options to choose text or an image. So text would be anything that they want and the image would come in small, medium, large, and extra large. So for now we just clicked printed so it's going to be a logo. In the sleeve logo part, we'll leave that blank for now for simplicity. You can also go to back logo and that'll add extra charge based on also how much colors they want. Right here there's only an option of up to three colors but when you get into the internal link system um, with the quotes you'll have up to five or whatnot. So now we just clicked one front logo printed so that gives us a total of 1425 per piece. Now if they want to get specific they could also add a front number. Front number has a base price depending on how big it is. And same with back number. Now this back name part, this one is if they want a specific back name for each person and that will cost seven dollars per piece because it's so such a custom order that it will take extra labor to do so seven dollars per back name so you can pretty much play around with this based on what the customer wants they can see it you can see it so it's pretty straightforward at the bottom you will see the setup fee that goes by how much colors you choose so if they chose one color it's a forty dollar setup fee two color it automatically doubles and three color it triples so forty dollars per color is the rule now at the bottom is the taxes and then the total so this one's pretty much straightforward nothing too complicated you can change the quantity here automatically changes the price if you just wanted one that means they're super rich and have money to spend because the setup fee is still forty dollars so usually they'll take bulk and then here you can also play around with color schemes that they want after that you can print a quote send it whatever so this is pretty much straightforward and simple now we're going to talk about the internal quote system so we're going to close this because we don't need it right now so to get to the internal quote system you can go to internal links and type in quote. This is the one you want. So I'm already signed in but you'd be able to 
just automatically sign in because the fields are already filled in and memorized. Okay, so this is what you'd get. This screen, which pretty much looks similar to what we just saw on the website. In build to address, you'd just start typing a company name. So, oops. as soon as you type in this, you get all these options. So the more you type, the more specific you can get. So let's say Don Bosco Catholic Secondary School. As soon as you click it, it fills in all the fields. But always double check that it's the accurate school because some schools there's like a bajillion St. Teresa's at different locations based on the province, region, so just double check because you want to make sure you're getting the right school. If the school name doesn't pop up, that means that it's either not in our system or something went wrong, so just manually fill it in. Also, you want to check that the contact is current. So always look at who you're sending it to based on the category. So if you're sending it to drama, make sure you contact the drama teacher or swim team, contact the swim teacher. Just always make sure you're specific about the contact you're sending it to. In the description here, you just pretty much write what the invoice is about. So let's say we were doing baseball. We type in baseball, full button, and then the code of the clothing. You can leave the username blank right here. You don't need to choose anything. So just leave it blank. And now we can move to this section right here. So pretty much to keep it simple, you have the top section, which is this part, and the bottom section, which is this part. So first we're gonna talk about the top section. So this is where you'd fill in the item details. So if we know what the product number is, we just click this green sign and new product. So you can choose apparel or uniform. Sorry, this is just a little slow. So whether the thing you're looking for is a uniform section or apparel section, click accordingly. So we're gonna choose apparel and use the code 5000. So when you click OK, this automatically pops up. So now we can get rid of these default styles. So we're left with just the product that we want. Now you can fill in how much they need. So let's say they want 15. You type in 15 and remember to never tab. You always have to enter because if you tab, it's not going to calculate the total price. So it's you'll notice it if you if you press tab and the price doesn't change you'll notice it right away but just be mindful so that everything can keep updating as you're entering it so one thing to remember is that white color is the cheapest per piece once you start going to the colors you'll notice here that they keep climbing in price and generally all colors are the same cost so let's just say the client doesn't know what color they want. Just click any color so that you can print them a quote for now. So right now I'm just going to leave it at charcoal. So let's say that they have more than one shirt or a pair of pants or whatever and you need to input them all to give them a quote. Remember to do one by one so that you avoid confusing yourself. So once you complete the top section for one item, do the bottom section for that one item and then continue on. Now we're going to talk about the bottom section. So here is pretty much the questing details. So you can choose what they want. So let's say front logo. They have one color and they want it to appear, let's say, on the left chest. You have all these options here. It doesn't change the price, whether they want full, left, or center. Then you can choose print or embroidery. And if you hit enter, you'll notice that 
it comes to 350. If you hit print and enter, it'll go to 285. Always remember to hit enter because if you don't, it will calculate it wrong. And then if you give them the wrong quote and they place an order and then you input it right, it's going to be a huge difference and they're going to wonder what went wrong. So let's just say now this is what they want. One front logo, full chest with one color, print, and 15 pieces. There I did it. I pressed tab instead of enter. Always make sure that the quantities match. So now we have this so far. The next section we're going to look at is the artwork charge. That stays $10 no matter what, so just leave it at 10 Here you have the print setup. So since we have one color, it's just $40. If we did two and press enter, it automatically goes to 80 just like on the website. So let's leave it at one. And okay. So now let's say, and since we don't have any embroidery, we can just X this off. Let's say they wanted to add a new element, let's say a sleeve. Click add a new element. Now you can go to sleeve logo, front number, or any of these options based on what they want. So let's say you wanted a sleeve logo, one color on the right sleeve printed. And change that to 15 too, and press enter. It automatically updates the price. So remember how I was telling you that the back name, the specific back name would be $7? I can show that to you here, how that would affect that. Back name, automatically $7. And since we only have one, it's pretty cheap, but if you factor in that we need 15 specific back names, it's $105. So if they want it, they want it, but always make sure that you let them know that. So we're going to cancel that for now. Okay, so we're going to move into the profit and cost section. See this little blue arrow? I'm going to click it and right here it's going to open the cost section. So it's going to show you how much the item costs for us. Mm -hmm. And then that can give you um, some playing field as to whether you want to give them a discount or... It just shows you pretty much how much bargaining room you have. And then at the bottom here, it, it totals your profit. So if you look here, the grand total is 282.73, but that doesn't mean you made 282.73 because you have a cost of 81.90. So here it shows you what the profit of the sale would be for the company. Okay. So if you wanted to give them a discount for something, you just click add discount. So here it would say how much per piece. So let's say you wanted to give them 25 cents off per piece, you press enter, and then type in 15 quantity, and you see right here, not sure what happened to this price here, because I remember it was 282.73, but for the sake of this, it doesn't really matter. Let's just race this so that you can see. So 286.96 before the discount. Now when we add the discount of 25 cents, oops, 15, hmm, I'm trying to figure out what's happening here. I think, uh-huh, okay, so add the minus sign because that'll make the discount work. Okay, so you type in minus 0.25, for 15 pieces and that gives you a total minus three dollars and 75 cents so you're still making profit it's not that big of a discount but it gives them some extra interest in buying the product so you'll notice here it changed okay so that was the discount per piece or for the item now we're gonna move down to the bigger discount section which is in this blue arrow 
So this is all the terms and discounts and it's based pretty much on when they pay. So they'll get a discount of 7% if the full payment is made at the time of the order, 5% discount if there's 50% deposit, and so on. So there's options to play around with. This only applies for schools. The public doesn't get a discount and regular payments don't get discounts. So if you wanted to select one, you just click here. And then you just leave it at that for now because these will only matter when you create an invoice. One thing I want to mention is to take in account this tax column. This is based on Ontario taxes. If somebody orders from Alberta, they're going to pay Alberta tax. So for the moment, for the system, you're going to have to calculate that manually. So you just go and find out what the tax for Alberta is and figure out what it would be. And then you just input it manually. So right now, you've done your quote. So you'd be able to either print the quote, email it, save it, or make a new quote. If you were to click save, that would generate a quote number. So I, I would write this down, especially if you're dealing with the school and you want to get an answer from them about what they want. You want to write that down because after you click save and you don't write this and you get out of the system and close the browser, it will be really hard to scroll down through all the quotes and find the exact one that you need. So always write the quote number somewhere with the name or a title about what it pertains to. And let's say you did exit this and you had the quote number, all you'd have to do is type the quote number in here and click look up. It will take you exactly to this where you left off. If you were going to print the quote, you just click print quote and it would open this property section for you. So you can either print it to the printer, so you can have a physical copy, or if you want to email it someone using our Gmail account, you would click, oh, this one doesn't have the option, oh, actually it does, so you'd click Cute PDF Writer, or most of them have something called Print to PDF, or Foxit, so remember these names are the Cute PDF Writer. PDF or Foxit, one of those options. So when you'd click it and click press OK, it would actually not print it, but make a PDF file of the quote. So if that were to happen, you just save it in the folder that you need and you'd be done with that. You'd open Gmail and just send it as an attachment. If you wanted the physical copy, you click on the printer that you wanted to go to and click OK. For now, we're not going to do that because we don't need it. I'm going to close it. Now moving on to the last step is creating an invoice. Let's say they like it, they want it, and now they want an invoice. So this is where this one would come into play. Based on when they pay or what option they chose, all you would have to do is click one of these side dollar signs. Let's say they paid right at the time of the order so they would get a 7% discount. All you would do is click this and automatically it will generate the invoice for you. Again, as before for the quotes, you can either print a physical copy or print to PDF, which could be Cute PDF Writer or Foxit or whichever one the computer has. So you'd print to this, which would save it. It would save it in the folder that you tell it to and you can use it to email it to the customer or the school. So for now, we'll cancel, so we don't need it. After that, that's pretty much all you need. You have your quote number written down somewhere. It also appears on the invoice. You have your quotes already saved, so that's all there is to it for this.